Welcome back, my name is Last Snow Meal, and it does seem that we have the first look on how Netflix The Witcher is actually going to look like. Again, take all of this with caution because this is coming from a channel that I found on a German website, and as much as it does look like it's coming from the series, I'm still not sure if this is real. As I said, it didn't come through official channels, and I rarely trust leaks even though on the website it does say a Canadian special effects studio seems to give us a look at the upcoming Netflix series. Keep in mind, this is a translated page. It also says that Torpedo Pictures, that are doing special effects for the series, released a demo reel showing basically everything they've done through 2018 and featuring two scenes. One from a fight in the village and the second one is from Kaer Morin. Upon looking for that company, I did find that it is indeed a studio based in Toronto, and they did include those two shots from the series. But I still didn't believe that the first look will go out like this, but it does seem to be true, but again I'm cautious, maybe Netflix is doing this as a part of their marketing strategy to kinda showcase how the series will look when it comes to cinematography, production design, and VFX in general. Also, the thing is, you can't confirm if this is actually coming from Netflix production. In the uh, description of this reel, it doesn't say anything that can confirm that this is coming from Netflix production. Uh, maybe someone else could have hired these guys to work on a fan piece for The Witcher or something like that, but I don't remember seeing this before, so I really can't confirm. Now let's go back to the footage, analyze it and see if we can learn something from this. The first scene shows a Lyrian soldier, we can easily determine that from the symbol on his back, which is a symbol of Lyria. He is fighting someone that looks like either a bandit or a mercenary and it seems like there is fighting everywhere. And it really confuses me when does this happen, I wonder how much is this connected to Nilfgaardian Wars and uh, it really depends on how far is the um, the story of the Witcher going to go, like if we are going to see some of the things that have happened even before Geralt of Rivia. Even though during Nilfgaardian Wars, Geralt of Rivia was pretty much active. Cinematography wise and VFX, it looks good, but I kinda wanna see the final result to make my decision on that, but there is one thing at the end which doesn't make sense. Why would a shield of this soldier in the end have a Witcher symbol on it. The symbol kinda used by CDPR in their games and I see no reason why someone would put that symbol on their shield. That is why I question if this is actually real. Witchers don't use shields, at least not like this, they have Quen, the armor sign. Also they are not a faction that has grunts or soldiers like that, maybe they had in the past, maybe this is something from far away but again, it doesn't make any sense to be on this soldier's shield. And because of this shield, I have a hard time believing that this is coming from the Netflix production, because why would someone put a Witcher symbol on their shield? Again, I could be wrong, I could be very much wrong, but um, I, I, still, I still don't know why. When it comes to the second scene, we have the one and only Kaer Morin, and it does look good. Again, I can't confirm if this is coming from actual Netflix production, because we still don't know how cinematography is actually going to look like. Uh, by seeing this, I cannot confirm if this is official. This also gave me Lords of the Rings feeling, for example, when they show Minas Tirith for the first time, and uh, it kinda has the same feeling camera-wise. Am I the only one? And in the past couple of days we did have some photos from the set, so things are being shared around and I'm certain that in 2019 we will get that trailer, again depends on their production. But Lauren has been saying that things are going according to plan. But this is everything I have for today, I did reach out to the company asking to provide insight if this is from Netflix production, and if they do answer I will keep you posted on the situation, so don't forget to subscribe. This is LKM signing out, and tell me down below what do you think about all of this, do you think this is fake, or do you actually think this is coming from Netflix? You also have all the sources I listed in this video down below in the description. And also follow me up on Twitter and Discord if you want to join the discussion about Netflix The Witcher. Stay tuned and stay classy everyone!
Bye-bye.